Hello air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to your reading. We are going to be looking at what is going to be happening by the end of this week here for you. So anything that comes up in the cards is what is potentially coming up here for you by the end of the week. So super excited to be doing this reading. I'll be using a couple of different decks uh, and we'll see what's coming up for you air signs. Uh, if you're dealing with an air sign, so to the cross watchers, this reading can be for you as well. So um, let's kick off the reading and see what is happening by the end of this week for the air signs. Okay, Gemini has come up quite strongly. We also have the Fool, which is Aries energy. Okay. Straight away, I'm sensing a lot of you are jumping into a new relationship following heartbreak or following some sort of scandal. So I feel like if there's air signs out there that, you know, you broke up with someone, this person left you, you left them. Um, it's almost like you're meeting someone new and your heart is going to be healed. So I definitely feel like you are getting over some heartbreak. So this is really momentous. And I feel like you've got a new relationship. Um, so meeting someone new by the end of the week, absolutely. Um, but also connecting on a very powerful level. This person is coming up with soulmate twin flame energy. Um, so that's very beautiful as well. Okay, you've got the death card reversed. Okay, some of you might not be over an ending. Some of you have an ex maybe coming back um, with, with the full card. Could be an ex that has regrets about losing you air signs. Um, to be honest, though, I feel like a lot of you want to put your past behind. Okay, you're ready to move on to the next chapter, ready to see what life has in store for you. I feel like you'll be dating. You'll have this newfound energy. Um, and, you know, maybe you're just, you're just ready to do that. Okay, you're ready to jump into that. You've got the Ace of One, so I feel like someone new um, is super attracted to you. Okay, so it's almost like they want to leave their person here for you. Air signs, what are you doing to this person? You're driving them crazy. Ace of Wands, like they're so, they're driven by lust and like you've got them all confused and it's almost like someone wants to leave their person for you. Okay, so you have this crazy effect, your charm, your sexual energy, your personality. Um, this person knows you're available, so maybe they know, oh, okay, you're newly single or, you know, you haven't updated your relationship status in a while or that picture of you and your ex is gone from your social media. So this person has been keeping their eye on you for quite some time and it's almost like they're, they've been thinking with the Seven of Pentacles or when to do this. They want to take you out and they want to spoil you. So I feel like they're going to come out with it. You're going to hear from this person with the lovers and I feel like it's going to be the straight shooting connection here. So they're going to be a straight shooter they're not going to muck around they're not going to beat around the bush they're going to tell you straight out they want you okay they're prepared to leave a relationship here for you so this is big okay um i don't know how long you guys have been connected for but they're coming up quite strongly could also be scorpio energy with a death card here I feel like this is fairly close to the ending of one relationship and the beginning of a new one. So that's why I feel like they'll either leave their person here for you or if you have recently separated from someone, this person knows about it and they're ready to jump on the train. You know, air signs, you're not low on people to attract, okay? You've always got that one person or at least one person that's like, when are they going to be single? You know, when are they ready? When are they going to leave that other person that's not right for them? You know, when are they going to realize they're worth so much more? So you're in a powerful energy here and you don't want that heartbreak anymore. You've had enough of the three of swords. You've had enough of the drama, the arguments, you know, you're tired of repeating yourself. You're tired of not getting the respect. You're tired of that, you know, the that swords energy, you know, a part of you wanted to stay in a connection, but now you finally realize that it probably wasn't for you. And it's almost like you're not missing out on anything because chances are that person's going to be doing the same thing they did to you. They'll be doing to someone else. So really, are you missing out? Um, okay, so someone wants to reveal their secrets here to you as well. So by the end of the week, they're going to reveal something big happening. I feel a lot of it has to do with how much they feel for you, how strongly they're feeling for you. So again, I don't know what you've done, but this person is smitten and it's very exciting. It could be a fire sign here or it's showing me this person is very, very attracted. You are their 
type, okay? You, the way you walk, the way you look, your body, whatever it is, they're going to compliment you and they're not going to be shy about it, okay? They want you to know that they have the hots for you. They, it's almost like they want you to fantasize about them in that way. So it's kind of like tongue in cheek that they're doing this, but um, I feel like with the full card, they're prepared to take the risks here for you. So I definitely am gauging that this person wants to leave behind a life because they feel like they're going to have a better one with you. Um, and chances are, you guys, are coming up a soulmate connection. So there's crazy chemistry between the both of you. Um, you've both been hurt. So you're both wanting something loyal, something serious. Um, can you trust it? I think you'll be more open. Um, I feel like you no longer want to be in that sort of three of swords energy you no longer want to be conflicted you don't want to be hurting anymore you've been there you've done that you're ready you're ready to move on to the next chapter so i feel like your energy is attracting this person that vibration that you're in is attracting them and they're picking up on these cues here they really are um for some of you you may have someone who's not over you and it could be someone from the past maybe from the recent past maybe an ex from way back is coming back and not surprised air signs, you know, we still have exes from way back still blowing up our phones. So what you have here is this person maybe coming in and saying, I was a fool to let you go. I missed you. I know it's been years. I know we haven't spoken. How, how have you been? Again, it's that vibration. I'm telling you that you are attracting this energy. Um, so don't be surprised if you hear from someone from the past before the week is up. Don't be surprised if this person wants to tell you they want to leave their wife, their husband, their partner for you. They want to leave, you know, maybe they're in the seeing stage, the courting stage with someone else. And it may come as a bit of a shock here to you because you're suddenly like, whoa, this is huge. Like we just met and you're already doing this all for me. So you might be surprised, but people fall in love. People fall in love very quickly. Um, and I think if people are in the right energy, you know, we, we know the person we want to end up with. You know, when we see them and we connect, we know. When you know, you know. So I feel like sometimes we have to take the risk. The Fool is telling you to take the risk towards love, which is the lover's card. Take the risk towards what could be a potential soulmate, um, a potential twin flame here. So you've got those avenues. Um, and I feel like you're, you're ready to get back out there again. Um, especially if you've been played, like if you've been played, especially by someone like younger, who's inexperienced, doesn't really know much about love, you know, they kind of did some things that were immature and you went along for the ride, you put up with it because you thought you loved them and then, you know, it doesn't really turn out that way. Um, and then you see it, maybe you weren't as special as you thought you were to them. And that's okay because there is someone here who I feel like is opening their whole heart here to you. And I feel like you're in a bit of a shock, but it's a huge, huge ego boost. So be prepared for that air signs, but I'll wrap it up there. So thanks Aquarius, Gemini, Libra for tuning in. Good luck with it all. And until next time, bye for now.